everyone and welcome back. In our last video, we had a discussion that how Android OS behaves when the application is in the kill state and how the process gets created and what is that point when the flutter activity gets called. Continuing with that video, today we are going to discuss on uh, two things uh, that can, can we start the uh, flutter engine or can we access the dot code when the application is in the kill state using the foreground services or the worker manager. Before that, let's first understand what are the important components of Flutter Engine or the Flutter Framework. So Flutter Framework or the Flutter Engine has got uh, some essential components like the Flutter Activity, the text uh, uh, rendering, the uh, hot reload, the uh, engine rendering uh, like the skia or the impeller, uh, the Dart execution environment. Again, in Dart execution environment, there is one major component which is called as the Dart Virtual Machine. So when you run the, your Flutter code, you will see that a local address has been assigned to run a virtual machine. So this uh, environment is nothing but a runtime environment to execute your Dart code, which this virtual machine takes care. So uh, can foreground services uh, access the Dart code or can it uh, start the Flutter engine when the application is in the kill state? The answer is yes. But there, but there are certain conditions and I'll tell you what those conditions are. The first is that your uh, foreground service should always be in the running state. Then only even if your application is killed, you will be able to start the engine. Therefore, your foreground services should be first started by your application. Your application and foreground services now both are working together. Now you may choose to kill your application, but your foreground services will keep running. And hence, you can execute uh, the code within your foreground services now. What I mean is, when you start your application, you start your service as well. You kill the application after that. And then, when you try to execute the code within that foreground service, like what you do inside that foreground service is you create an instance of Flutter engine. And then you try to create a draft executor object you will give the name of the uh, give the name uh, of the function which you want to execute on the dart side and that function will get called even if the application is killed straight the second condition is the function which you are calling on the dart side it should not be a part of the class it should be a global level function the third condition is say for example if your application is in kill state and you try to start the uh, foreground service it won't start the reason is because if you remember in my last video I told you that once the system process has done everything, the very first thing which it calls in the application is the application object, the application process and this is the very first time when UI main thread is called. So foreground service is a part of application process and which is why if the application is, is in kill state you cannot start a service from that state. Okay, And the fourth point is that there are two ways. Uh, at least which I know that can help you to start the services when the application is in the kill state and one is the Firebase messaging service and the other is the window service. Now coming to the uh, worker manager so can worker manager do the same thing? The answer is no. The worker manager cannot do this because it is meant for background processing. If you write the same code what you have written in the foreground service like uh, creating an instance of the flutter engine and then creating a dart entry point there will be no compilation error but when you run the code it will give you a ui thread error because flutter engine runs on ui main thread and which is why it won't work so uh, i wanted to ask you all a question that uh, in case of worker manager if you use the uh, core routines or if you use the handle looper, then will it be possible to access the Dart code by creating the Flutter engine? If any one of you have done this before, please do let me know in the comment box and do let me know if any other information which you can share related to this video. If you like the content which I have shared with you, if you like the knowledge which I have shared with you and you want me to continue with this sharing, please do hit a like button and do follow me for more 